so welcome guys welcome back guys and this is our second uh, tutorial for the uh, breeder for beginner this is breeder 2.91 and um i just want to show you something because uh the other video i showed how you can download breeder the system requirement that you need for the breeder you can just check this video on my uh my uh, youtube site and now what we are doing now is that we want to see how Breda look like when you open Breda for the first time. So when you open Breda for the first time, I'd like you, this is what you get when you click it. So let me, I can just cross it and then I just start it again. And this is how it look like. So you have all those. So you have like, if you want to create a new file, you have a general 2D animation, you have scripting, you have VFX, you have video editing. You can also get started if you are new to Breda. You can read the manual. You can go to the Breda website. You can, yeah, there are also some tutorials there where you can just check on them. And now also you can have to open a file. You have saved any file. So, so whatever I just do, I would like to do is just I would like to click the general. In general means that you can do some 3D animation. You can do everything in like everything that Breda has to do, like doing some VFX, also doing some two, uh, video editing or whatever. So when you open Breda, what you get first is this one here. And Breda has always, always this box here. So this is a box that you have, and here, like you can see, the cube is selected. So you have this one here, the light. And when you click light, you can see that the light is there. And this one here is the camera. So what happened is that if you are new in Breda, I would like to show you something. This one here is zoom. You can zoom. If you click here and hold your left, um, uh, you click the left side of your mouse and hold it, then you can zoom your object and make it big or make it small. So if this one here is to move, you can move it to the side, you can move it to light and whatever. The third one here is the camera. If I click here, my object will be, so if I'm doing the rendering, which I'll show you later how to do the rendering in Breda. So you just need to see whether you are, whatever you want to render is inside the camera. And this is how the, your camera will show you. So you can just click and say that you don't want the camera. So now I would like first of all to show you how you can like import, like if you have some other uh, like the object that or the character that you made from other um or like in 3d or like in icron or in other 3d software you can bring it to the breeder so the breeder has so many option of you importing your character so let's first what i do is that i like to delete this one here the box but i leave the camera and i leave the light so what we do is that you come here and you say like uh import and you can import like Corad, uh, Col uh, Colander, Alambic, Motion Capture, you can do the uh, Scrabble Vector, Stanford, you can do the STF, FBX, and there are so many options. So the only I want to show you how you can first of all import um, an uh, FBX, and I like I just click here, and then I want to import, I have some um, FBX file which I've saved some characters so for me I save them here and I have prepared already I've shown you a video how you can do the animation and whatever in another video but this one just show you how you can import because I want to show you some things like camera setting and whatever so just click this is what I want to import and it will tell you so guys um whatever I just you come here to the import FBX you go to the like I just want to show where I save my this is where I save my fbx file and i just click this is what i want to import i just click there and now you have your imported character now on here so now if you want to zoom you can screw your mouse zoom in zoom out or you can use this one here like the way i showed you Click here, hold, and then you try to zoom in to zoom out. To move, you can just move using this one here, the heart, light, left, up, and down. 
you can also click here and you can move using this allows here like moving uh like that way so you can this one then if you click here and you it's when you want to select something if you click here this is the castle that will show you here this castle the movement you can just click here move allotate you can use this one here or you can scale your character click here you can scale your character like make your character look small the way you want to see the character look like that way so um let me first of all undo exactly so now we have imported our character but look how our character looks so if i want to rotate my character and look at me so i can just hold my uh, screw button on the mouse and just rotate it there to face the front but now this character looks so weird so why if you see here we have so many so this is the viewpoint shading we have the first one here the button which is viewpoint shading also so you can if you want to see the material the character you can choose this one here I need to show you the material of the character or you can also show this one here and show you the light and whatever so now this is now how you get so on on top of your braider you have the layout you have the modeling if you want to do the modeling and if you see the character is already like in the modeling you have the scrapping if you want to do the scrapping use the braider you have the uv light like if you want to see the uv editing and whatever texture painting like if you want to do some painting in the braider it's also possible you can just click there and just do some i'll just show everything on a separate video we can do everything on this video here so many things to learn on braider so you have the shading if you do some shading animation like this shows you all the animation that they are involved in this so if i just come here and pray you see like my character is already animated so those are the animation that they show you so if you want to do manual animation in braider which will not advise you to do you have to start animating everything which is a lot of work to do so um now we have the rendering if you want to do the rendering this one i'll show you on a separate video and we have the compose uh, compositing and scripting also so now whatever you have you have we were on the real so if i pray this is where like you can see our character is already animated and whatever and also we can go to the animation if you want to see animation and it will open another uh this one here which you can also do like the same way screw it and we can also put our material to see the character with the material that we imported with so we can also put do the same thing here to see our character good and turn to move down and now we have our character so now if we play our animation you can see our character he's like he's talking so let me just put him a bit down and there's something here i came to note it is like if you import a character in bread the eyes they look like they are hidden so i would like to show you a base more trick i also show this on the next video so i just click the eyes so i can just uh first of all stop this one and just put it back i just come here and click the eyes uh i don't want to select so let me first of all go to the layout move this one down a bit I want to see those eyes good and if i click the eyes you see like i can say so i just do this so i come and delete the front here so, so that i can see my eyes good so that's how you can see and if you see your character now looks so good so um i'm going to show you how you can also make a 3d character like this one so in a simple way the more than coming and to do to do the modeling and do everything in breda so there are, if you want to do it for me i'm not good in modeling or doing this uh, uh, sculpting it's not also good for me so i would like to use another software to do everything and then i bring this character to the breda and use it so i told you about the camera if now you want to render this one you have to click here and now you can see your character is focused on the camera so we can just select our character uh, click the mouse and then rotate it zoom it bring it down and then try to see whether the character is on the camera 
So you can also click the camera here and here you have the figures like if you want to rotate your camera where you want to press it, you can use this one here. So this one I'll show you on a separate video on how to set the camera and whatever. So for this video, uh, I just want to leave it there and thank you for watching this video and bye for now.